When utilizing compression, it is very important to understand the different types of compression that are available, both long stretch and short stretch, because both of these types of compression directly impact how the compression works and the impact they will have on the venous, the lymphatic, and the arterial systems. What we are striving for is a high working pressure and a low resting pressure. What that means is when the bandages are in place providing compression is that they provide a resistance for the muscles to work against to facilitate that calf muscle pump and redirect that lymph flow and that venous flow back up towards the heart. What happens with resting pressure is that when the muscles are at rest or when the patient is relaxing, the compression should not be so tight as to be causing a tourniquet effect. The way we can achieve this is with using short stretch compression. And if you look at short stretch compression and the way that it's manufactured, it will only stretch 20 to 40% of its original length. And this is what is important to remember when utilizing these types of compression bandages to support venous insufficiency or lymphatic compromise. The difference between short stretch and traditional long stretch bandages is that long stretch will actually stretch or extend almost up to 140% its original length. This directly impacts work working pressure and resting pressure. So using long stretch actually does the reverse where you have a high resting pressure and a low working pressure. This is not what we want when we're addressing lymphatic compromise or venous insufficiency. We want a system such as short stretch that will provide that high working pressure and that low resting pressure to achieve adequate venous and lymphatic return.